by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to organize your undergarment drawer. If your drawer looks like it's in a little bit of a mess or like a tornado ran through it, then this video is for you. If you don't know who I am, I'm Shanice Spanis. I'm a pro organizer, lifestyle blogger, and wedding planner expert for my site, cityofcreatedreams.com. How to quickly organize your undergarment drawer. So you want to know how to organize your top drawer. In order to do this, I'm going to show you my drawer and how I organize it. Let's get started. Clean slate. I always like to start with a clean slate because you want to see what you're working with. So take everything out. Everything. Declutter. Use this time to really go through your clothes. What do you wear all the time, sometimes, and not at all? Be honest with yourself. Don't keep things that you actually don't wear. Or as Marie Kondo likes to say, it doesn't spark joy. You know what clothes you love and the ones that you just hold on to. For reasons like someone gave it to you as a gift or you're holding on to it for just in case reasons. You need to remove to make room for clothes that you do love. Sections. Once you have taken all of the clothes outside of your drawers, you can now start creating sections. Think about categories, such as since we're working on your top drawer of your undergarments, you can use storage bins to divide your bras from your socks. organizing your top drawer making sense? If it is, write love in the comments below this video. Folding. If you haven't already, you're going to want to fold like Marie Kondo. Believe me, it makes a difference. If you want to know how to fold like her, you can check out my video on folding undergarments to maximize the space and make your drawers look like a professional walked in. If you want to take it a step further, you can label your drawers. I've seen many ways of doing this. My favorite is front-facing labeling for kids' drawers with photos and labels. But I also really love labels that are hidden on top of the inside of the drawer. These are easy ways to label your drawers and still get the organized look that you're looking for. Pro organizers use this trick all the time. If you're serious about getting organized, check out my free resources below this video. You'll get great checklists to help you on your organizing journey. You can grab the link below this video. If you know someone who loved this, share this. Did this video help you? Are you ready to organize your drawer? Let me know in the comments below. See you in the next video. Hey, before you go, Thanks for watching and get more information at cityofcreativedreams.com. See you there.